Hello everyone, and welcome to your second You Pick Tuesday video of the week. That's right guys, it is a double feature. The first uh, first winner of the poll was Urs Kal Kalinski, or Urs Kal Kalinski. You know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about, darn it. <laughs> Versus uh, Keon Pearson, anyway. After the video was posted, or maybe even during the making of it, the tide turned, and you guys showed up in bunches, and it's obvious the winner is Bautista, Paco Bautista versus Nick Walker. Two studs. Two of the most muscle-bound. I mean, these guys have a lot of muscle on their frames. Paco Baut Bautista, he looks like he's a couple inches taller here. He's not. You may notice he's standing very straight at the knees. Mid-2000s, a lot of them still did that. You know, bending at the knees quite substantially as Nick Walker. And he is probably an inch shorter anyway than Bautista. Bautista? I like to call him Bautista. Bow down to the teast. Front double bicep. Very difficult to find. Paco's, you know, all the eight mandatory shots in prime condition. 2006, I believe this is. Look at the arms on him. I tried to get this out as fast as I could, you guys. So, you know, I believe it is 2006. Look at the guns on both of these guys. Genetically speaking, they have similar muscle. Muscle. They don't have similar frames. You can see Paco's waistline. It's a, it's a lot wider, I think, than Nick Walker's. And that says a lot. Either that or the lats are bigger for Nick. But, I don't know, it's hard to say. Tilted Dousley is the camera angle for Batista, so it's definitely hard to size as well. The, the wheels on both of these guys, very dry, I believe. A little bit more separation for Nick Walker. Go to the front lat spread. And I would wager to say Nick Walker has a much smaller waistline. A much better V-taper than Paco Bautista. Very similar, though, though like I said, the muscle. Chest muscles, arm muscles, very similar. Wheels spread over a different base. I believe the quads are a little bit longer for uh, Bautista. And not as separated. Food for thought. Just seems like Walker has more bubbly, round quads. Little bit asymmetrical, unsymmetrical here at the New York Pro was Nick Walker. He fixed that at the Arnold Classic, but I used this version here just because haven't seen it in so long. And you know repetitiveness mm, not the best especially when we have other options he was pretty darn good here at the new york pro with nick walker side chest development now here is where a beast like uh, bautista the beast he could get an edge midsection for midsection nick walker all the way all the way he may be criticized for having a wide waist but guys he looks good he looks good for an open class competitor Especially, hey, he's not a classic uh, physique division competitor, is Nick Walker. Neither of these guys. Look at Batista. Thick midsection or not, the guy is stacked. Looks more conditioned also than Nick Walker here. You see that? Upper body, very vascular. Tricep, bicep. That reminds me of a Kai Green arm in the side uh, chest development. Does it not? Anybody? No? No. What would you guys know? I'm just joking. I love you guys. Please don't hit thumbs down. Hit thumbs up. <laughs> Go to the rear double by. And speaking of thumbs up, if you do hit a thousand on my first You Pick Tuesday, I will do. Uh, I will do the third request. It's Tom Platts versus somebody. Somebody. All right. I'm sorry. Back development. Nick Walker much better in the V taper. Condition though is Paco Bautista. Bow. Tista. Look at the back development. Like I said, muscle for muscle. These guys have, genetically speaking, the same type of muscle on a different type of frame. Somewhat of a similar frame. Much wider waistline for Bautista. Look at the biceps in both uh, the right and the left biceps. They're not exactly symmetrical for either guy, but they're identical. Look at that. Bicep peaks and, and everything. Go to the rear lat spread. Batista forgot to flex his glutes here. You see that? He had them flexed. It's the same event. It's the same event. This is what a, a conditioned bum looks like when it's not flexed. 
That's exactly what it looks like. I've seen Phil Heath's backstage. This is what it looks like. So he is in condition. He just, this is, well, you know, he was going through his mandatories and he's maybe worn out, maybe uh, tired. Got the hamstrings, though, actually, with the soft glutes here. You know who Paco Bautista, he's built just like, is Hassan Mustafa. No? I think they are identical, come to think of it. <laughs> that would have been maybe a better match. Go to the side tricep. We're doing it in the order, the IFBB. I guess I'll uh, continue on doing it in, in that fashion, and I'll one day stop mentioning it. What a beast from the side is Bautista. He's so thick, so heavy. He doesn't look 300 pound from the front, but from the side, he looks 300 pounds easy on the offseason, that is. Now, uh, on stage, I, I heard he was quite heavy, like 280 or something like that. And 280 on stage, dry like he is, glutes, you can see. I mean, you could throw another 20, 30, 40, 40 pounds on, he'd still be in shape. So, guy was probably well over 300 pounds on the offseason. Big stud for sure. Go to the abs and thigh. And he is all the way a great bodybuilder, for sure. The guy trained, obviously, he's a powerhouse, very conditioned as well. Is uh, Batista drier than a popcorn fart? But so is Nick Walker, maybe even uh, more separated anyway. I don't know if he's in better condition, but he's more separated, for sure. That in combination with the better V-taper, smaller waistline, Makes Nick Walker a clear winner in this match. Didn't even, <laughs> didn't even really judge the the back shots, but Nick Walker was winning those as well. Just a beast. Most muscular and most certainly a coup for both guys. Both guys are full of muscle. These guys, their houses wider than a barn door. Copyright Tominator. Copyright Tominator. Just a little bit better in the muscle separation, of course, in the abs and in the wheels, I noticed, for Nick Walker. Other than that, pretty tight matchup, pretty close one. I mean, Paco Bautista, like I made it, did uh, one video on this guy. Definitely a legend of the past, a forgotten bodybuilder. I think I did an old gladiator round matchup. Him versus somebody, I can't remember. But anyway, definitely deserves respect, and I am pleased to have a bodybuilder like him on my channel. But make no mistake about it, this is the better bodybuilder. This is the winner, Nick Walker. I mean, the guy already placed fourth at the Mr. Olympia. Or fifth, sorry, fifth at the Mr. Olympia. Maybe, maybe it should have been fourth. Maybe it should have been fourth. So his future, obviously, much brighter, much brighter. Hit thumbs up on the video. That's your double feature. And remember, hit thumbs up more now than ever. 1,000 thumbs ups on, I tell you what, the first one or even this one. Or even this one. I'll give it a couple of days. Then I will do the third most popular request. Have a great day, guys.